Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about Iwata airbrushes. Iwata is known as the best performing airbrush on the market, and it is the most trusted name in the industry. I am going to take you through Iwata's extensive line of airbrushes, but first a few words about airbrushing in general. All the Iwata airbrushes are internal mix. What that means is that the air and paint come together inside the head assembly of the airbrush. The air thoroughly atomizes the paint, and when it sprays it out, it sprays out in a nice, soft, sensual manner. The other aspect to the airbrush is the triggering. This is a single action airbrush. There are single action airbrushes and dual action airbrush. This is a single action airbrush, and it's the only one that Iwata manufactures. When you press down on the trigger, air and paint come out simultaneously. To adjust for more or less paint, you adjust it from the back. But you have to stop your hand movement to do that. The other type of triggering is dual action. This is a dual action airbrush in which when you press down on the trigger, nothing comes out but air. Then when you pull back on the trigger, paint comes out. Let me show you how it works. You press down for air and you always start with just air. Then you pull back for paint and the paint comes out. And a lot of paint can come out or a little bit of paint depending on how far back you pull on that dual action trigger. Now, another feature with the airbrush is the feed. How the paint gets into the airbrush. This one here is a gravity feed airbrush, a CS, Eclipse CS. All right, paint goes into the little color cup at the top and you spray it. Gravity feed airbrushes always have a finer line than others and allows you to get closer to your artwork. The next type would be a bottom feed airbrush. This is a bottom feed airbrush here in which jars plug into the bottom of it. You can have an assortment of jars with different colors in them and go from one to the other just by plugging it into the airbrush and painting. It's really good for working large where you're gonna have a large amount of paint to work with or, or in automotive industry where you're doing custom painting and you have your lacquer or automotive paint in that and it just plugs into the bottom. And then there is the traditional side feed airbrush. It has a little funnel, a little color cup that plugs into the side. If you're right-handed, it goes in the Right hand side, if you're left handed, it goes in the left hand side. So it can be either right or left handed. And it can be adjusted for working flat on a table, say like a photo retoucher would work, or work on a ceiling for doing restoration of some sort. Right? So those are the three feeds. Now, let's look at the Iwata airbrush line together. The first one is the Iwata Revolution. This is a moderately placed airbrush, very durable. Works great, best for beginning students, people working in crafts, doing stenciling, projects like that. Then there's the Eclipse, which is the most popular line in the, in the uh, Iwata. These brushes have a special tip on them that allows you to spray heavier paints, right, such like uh, uh, artist acrylic colors or automotive lacquers, enamels, right, has all the feeds that are available, sprays a line from pencil thickness to about one and two inches wide. Then you have the High Performance Plus. This is the backbone of the illustrator's airbrushes. Right? Professional airbrushers love these tools. Right? They come bottom feed, side feed, and top feed. Very fine line they can achieve, an extremely soft spray. Right? Most usable in, say, illustration, technical renderings, or medical illustrations, say. Now the next airbrush we'll talk about is the Highline airbrush. Exactly the same as the High Performance Plus, except for the fact that it has the MAC valve. And the MAC valve is at the front of the airbrush and is used to control the air right at the tip. It allows you to do special effects such as stippling technique or fine lines, right? Great tool to work with. And then we have the famous Micron, the custom Micron. This is the creme de la creme, the, the best of the best of the airbrushes. You can spray a line down to the thickness of an eyelash, right? And it is used in all the realms by professional artists and craftspersons. And last we have the custom with the K. These brushes were designed primarily for the automotive industry, but there is a lot of crossover. It's great for spraying varnish onto a painting or gesso onto a canvas, or doing murals. And one of the brushes 
particularly the TH, has a special tip on it that allows you to spray the round spray of an airbrush or the flat spray of a spray gun. So that's the entire line of airbrushes that I, WADA manufactures. And there is an airbrush for every one and for every application. And if you're going to start airbrushing, you might as well start with an IWADA.